I did not see that coming at all. Lucky still surprisingly released for quests like what? A legendary VR platformer that probably most early adopters are already familiar with. Essentially alongside most, this game set a standard for this genre to bring a quality gameplay on the level of Crash Bandicoot or stuff. I've never played it, I came too early to VR to experience it, but I'm definitely excited to play and most likely will do a playthrough because it's supposed to be really good even though it's old school. <laughs> Lucky and Piggy are the best of friends. Oh, do you have subtitles? They curl up to sleep when the day ends. But Lord crept in, looking for a treat. Uh. And took Mr. Piggy as something to eat. The rhymes. Pig gave a yelp, and Lucky leapt from bed. He raced off to help. I'm coming, Piggy! I'm coming! As the wily Glor fled. A golden coin trail showed him the way. This is Lucky's Tale, and it's time to play. Cute. Yeah. <laughs> that's so interesting that the storyline literally is to chase the piggy and we have to follow the coins. Like, that's a genius idea from the development standpoint. Do we actually have subtitles? I wanna No, uh, that's a shame, but not groundbreaking. Oh, it counts, okay. Invisible coins? Is this like a scoring system? I guess after crossing 100 we'll get alive, just like in Crash Bandicoot and stuff. Okay, the jumping is fixed, so depending when you press double jump, you jump higher, okay? It separates platformers in terms of mechanics like that. You have other attacks? Okay, now. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I want the gem. Some coins are like invisible, but not really. I wonder what about. Oh. Huh? <laughs> Is that a secret level or something? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Come on. It's very like straightforward and just jumping through the levels. It's buried. Oh, okay, okay, okay. There has to be some suppression with this invisible coins. Oh, 
Oh, is that a time attack? <laughs> Another fall. It's very similar to what I remember Crash Bandicoot represented. Maybe less like clear. But yeah, definitely that vibe. Oh wait, a gift. No, 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 no. Lucky, where are you going? <laughs> Did my controller die? <laughs> yeah, my little controller died. Wait a minute. <laughs> you found a present. Press Y in the storybook to view your presents. What storybook? I don't see no storybook. <laughs> y is an attack. I definitely remember me the most days when I first started playing VR. So like a perfect entry level game. <laughs> What the? Huh, they appear randomly, those coins. This is, this is good. <laughs> there is like a lot of going on for just starting out, but it's a lot of good things. Break it. <laughs> we have chicken. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. That's an army. Oh no, I'm dying. Wow, you can jump higher from them. You can't catch me. Oh shit. Alright, well that's gonna be like a quick overview. No intro unfortunately, but that's actually how I used to do videos when there were surprise releases. Like, it's just getting me back to my old recording days and with this release, it's like a fun throwback. <laughs> it's a fun platformer, there's like a lot of going on and some things might not be clear on the first glance, but it's better to have a game packed with features and then later on realize what's going on. Like, you can tell this was made for VR. <laughs> and it's like similar vibes with mods, you're actually a part of the game, so I really like this and I'm looking forward to doing the playthrough, obviously.